Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Trust you guys are all doing well. Check this out, 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes on the clock. Here's what I wanna do with this video. Number one, by the time it's done, if you think it's valuable, I'd like for you to share it with one or two people. Number two, what are we gonna talk about on this video? Number one, why you should get involved. Number two, cleaning it up. And number three, keep it going and keep it growing. So here's the whole conversation I wanna have with you guys. Social media has made such an impact in my life and my business over the last 25, 26 months that it's basically immeasurable and the amount of uh, benefit that we have had by interacting with every single one of you guys through this camera has been absolutely crazy number two outside of YouTube Instagram as well it has been a major blessing with my life by learning best practices tips reviews how to's and everything in between and here's a couple things I wanted to talk about uh, just really quick with you guys I got nine minutes left and I want to make this very very worth it for you guys so this whole conversation about why I think you guys should get started with social media, whether it's sign up for an Instagram and start following your favorite YouTubers and other guys in the community, not just me, every one of you guys as well, whether you're a company, whether you're a distributor, whether you're a dealer or an end user customer, just like myself, I think we should all start building our social media a lot more. You know, our industry has been around for well over a hundred years, right? There has been companies that have been around for a hundred years, distributorships for a hundred years, dealers for a hundred years. And you know what? Some of us that have been in business for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, it's just fascinating I know there's a lot of history there I know there's a lot of ways things have always been done and I totally respect that and appreciate that but I don't know if you guys have noticed this in the last two three five or so years there has been just a transformation a revolution I would almost call it with what we're doing with social media and the industry itself and its whole it is absolutely mind-blowing if you see what is coming down the pipe from the innovation from companies with uh, all their R&D and the newest latest and greatest products to the expectation that that end users have for customer support and dealer support to the awesome uh, businesses that we are all running, building and establishing and creating and growing as end users. I think it's literally fascinating. And we've all seen a transformation over the last couple years with the growth of social media. And I think our industry is at such a um, precipice or whatever you guys will call it, the cusp of so much growth with social media because here's the exact reason why. Number one, uh, I think that there is so much conversation happening right now with end users and companies more than ever before and here's why companies are able to hear the latest and greatest and the boots on the ground kind of information from guys like us and outside of that we have the customers the end users like myself that are for the first time able to reach billion dollar companies and talk to those folks and you know what we can make review videos and we can make how-to videos and share latest and greatest and talk about instant feedback so if you guys are new to the Instagram or the YouTube world here's what I'd really encourage you guys to do start a social media account whether it's a snapchat or Instagram and start following each other and start engaging in the community you know this whole conversation came from about two years ago I had a conversation with an industry uh, mid man uh, mid-level manager he was an executive he was uh, uh, a really nice guy and you know the better part of me would love to name drop and embarrass him but because I'm a first-class dude I won't do that I'll uh, conceal the guilty and here's what he had to say when I told him about social media our industry and what's going on his exact response was something like this and I hope other companies hear this because he said Brian by the time anything you do grows and materializes with this YouTube thing uh, I will be retired uh, enjoying my pension with my gold bracelet my gold uh, watch and I will be drinking a cold drink on some island by the time anything you do materializes or anything you're trying to affect changes so let's fast forward two years later we're running almost a half a million views a month we have 20 25,000 subscribers. The Long Care community uh, as a whole is probably at a half a million to a million subscribers if you add up all the channels, which is pretty ridiculous if you think about it. Uh, I would imagine Instagram alone is millions upon millions of views per day in the lawn and landscape industry. And there's a literal transformation happening right before our eyes. And the reason I say all that is because by the time this guy does retire, uh, he is uh, an old hat kind of gentleman. And I think he needs to start uh, checking his ego a little bit and start realizing and the opportunity he has in front of him to engage with end users and customers, if that makes any sense. Point number two I wanted to talk about was cleaning up our social media and Instagram. Uh, I don't wanna do a lengthy rant on this one, but you know what? Uh, I always heard that I can say anything to you as long as I end it with a smile. 
So here's what I want to do. If you guys are on Instagram, social media, YouTube, and everything in between, do me a favor. Let's clean it up a little bit. Let's stay classy out there. But let me say this. If you uh, have a product or a bad experience uh, or you don't like something, I don't think it's appropriate to uh, act as a professional and to go complain about it. If you want to complain about something, I would encourage you to take it up with the dealer or the company uh, specifically and not to just necessarily whine or complain to get views or to get sensationalism. I think that is wrong. I think we should treat our community with a little bit more reverence and respect, especially if we are participating in it. And that means uh, handling complaints and negative uh, situations correctly and positively. I don't feel like complaining to complain is uh, an adequate response out there from a business professional. All that being said, if there are issues, take it up with your dealer, take it up with your distributor, take it up with the company. But let's make sure that if we're expanding our social media, that we don't do it in a uh, smear campaign fashion. That was something that I would really encourage you guys. Being part of this industry, let's make sure that we're all winning together and not pointing the finger at each other. That's something that I think we could all improve on. Let's fast forward a little bit about growing the industry and expanding the industry. Because I am at six minutes and 50 seconds and I've got about two to three more minutes with you guys. I wanna make this part good. Let me talk to you guys for just a few minutes about expanding social media and companies hearing more from us, consumers hearing more from companies. I was actually on a one hour conference call with two great dudes from Husqvarna. One guy is John, the other guy's name is Key. Both absolutely fantastic guys. And they were both from Husqvarna. And let's be honest, on the recent video uh, that Stanley and I did, they took a sucker punch. And the reason why is because I don't feel like the equipment that they had made was necessarily up to snuff. There was a couple things I disagreed with. But you know what? That is what it is. It's my opinion and that's what you get with YouTube. That's what you get with Instagram. But I will say this. Those guys took it on the chin and and they had an hour long call with me because they wanted to learn how to get better. The company itself, as super conservative as it is, wanted to hear more about end user experience. And I joked with these guys about four months ago. I said, I will probably per uh, give you more uh, end user information and you will probably learn more from uh, the industry and the community that I have and everybody else has out there more in a week or two than any field test you're gonna do for three to six months. And we joked and we laughed and then we posted the video and it got 150,000 views uh, between both of our channels and they had a lot of input and so here's the fantastic part about that is because there's so much opportunity out there for companies to learn from the field and I think that is fantastic I think there's so much opportunity from the field guys like us running our business to communicate with the mothership to communicate with all these companies hey we don't like certain things hey we do like certain things uh, it's like the whole Instagram meme that's out there right like what do we all want Instagram in chronological order right and then it's like what are we really what are we gonna give them completely the opposite right that's the opportunity that we all have with social media is that we are able for the first time ever to communicate with billion dollar companies you're starting to see it with uh, ambassadors and advocates and all this other stuff out there which is just freaking awesome and to me that shows that companies are respecting some professionals in the industry and they're treating people with with class and they want to um, encourage and have these conversations and this dialogue and I think it is just awesome so that's the conversation I wanted to have with you guys what has social media done for you guys whether you're a company or a distributorship or a dealer or whether you're an end user has review videos from my channel and other folks helped you guys out with picking better equipment staying away from equipment that maybe is not a to snuff has it helped you guys with buying certain items that you didn't even know existed uh, all that kind of stuff in between leave me a comment down below what has social media and the lawn care industry done for you guys the last year or two you know what I'll be honest with you this video this is the probably one of them that's not gonna have an affiliate link plug and I'm not gonna be sponsoring anything in it go figure I'm just a regular guy hanging out with all of you guys but I mean this sincerely I have been so blessed by this green industry I am very very thankful for the money we've made and everything that we have in the business we've established with it which again is not the biggest one out there by any means but I want to say in all sincerity the green industry has been absolutely amazing to me it is going through a transformation right now a revolution if you will with how many people are getting involved with the growth of the 
industry, with how many people are getting involved on Instagram and YouTube. And you know what? Here's what I would encourage you guys. Keep growing, keep blowing it up, and keep communicating with these companies. And if you're a company, keep communicating back with the field. You know, there's something to be said when I can have hour-long conversation with vice presidents and executives of billion-dollar companies. By the way, I don't say or claim to be the answer man or no at all. I just have a regular business and I get a lot of feedback from you guys and from my own business. So I'm able to kind of weigh in pretty quickly. But you know what? It's awesome when I get to interact on Instagram with the CEO of certain companies and the uh, vice president of other companies, just like all of you guys do. They read the comments and I think it's awesome. And with that being said, companies can interact with us, we can interact with them, and I think we should keep building that bridge and keep having those conversations. I'm gonna end with one really quick point and here's why I say get involved with social media. You know, uh, YouTube itself is an amazing platform. And just about a year or two ago, the CEO, the, the lady that runs it, uh, I'm not gonna you know throw her name out there or anything like that, you can look it all up, but she for the first time started an actual YouTube channel. And you know, it was a very interesting litmus because these are people who are making decisions on the industry while not being involved with it. She's the kind of lady who doesn't post videos, doesn't create videos and understands nothing about how a social media person works uh, on YouTube, how a YouTuber uh, runs their day. And so how does that relate to lawn care and how does that relate to our industry? Well, if you're not on Instagram and if you're not running a business day to day or at least engaging with your field or the customers that you're trying to sell to, I question the seriousness and the sincerity that you have about trying to help guys like me better my life and make more money. And that's the litmus that it should always come down to. Designing cool products is great but they need to make sure that they're helping people's lives right and so that's what I'm trying to encourage you guys to do if you are in the industry itself whether you are on the corporate end as a dealer distributor or a manufacturer it would be f good idea it would be a great idea I should say for you guys to create an Instagram and start interacting with these people out there uh, guys like me and everybody else in the lawn care community and you know what from the lawn care community let's make sure that we're treating these people with respect and we're all working together all right so that's my uh, 10 minute rant I'm at 12 and a half you guys know me I'm always one to break a promise on how long a video is gonna be I don't think you guys are um, not accustomed to that anymore so that's my 12 minute video on why I think we should all get involved with social media on YouTube and Instagram in our lawn care landscaping industry. All things being said, I appreciate the companies, I appreciate the distributors, I appreciate the dealers, I appreciate the manufacturers, and I appreciate all the end users, you guys out there that make YouTube, Instagram, and the lawn care landscaping industry what it is. I think the industry is on an uptick, I think everything's on an upswing. You look at the last couple of GIEs, you look at the last couple of GIE rallies, everything is up and you know what i like being involved with an industry that's on the grow and i think all you guys do as well so all things being said get involved in the industry if you guys aren't number two let's keep it clean let's keep it upbeat let's keep it positive positive. and number three let's keep growing together all right guys fair enough that's it that's my agenda today on this one. Have fun with your life, have fun with your business, and let's keep succeeding. We're all here to make money, we're all here to crush it. And let's all do that together, all right guys? Fair enough, over and out. Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We'll catch you guys in the next one, bye-bye.